Okay, so for this next segment, uh, what I want to talk about is the team runners that are suing to block trans athletes from girl sports. Um, I believe this news broke uh, just a few days ago, um, so I wanted to um, touch on this. I, you know, it's it is it, the, the waters are getting really. Uh, muddy here uh, yeah. because now you know when, when you're talking about uh, accepting men as women in sports uh, I, I feel like that's going to do a disservice uh, to women everywhere and uh, the, 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 the trans athletes who are getting um, or are, are getting blocked, they're basically needless to say they're 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 dominating their sport. Uh, <laughs> I bet. Um, so yeah, yeah. So I mean this I mean it just really opens up the the floodgates and then we also I think they just announced that they're having the first biological male runner compete in the USA uh, Olympics as a uh, woman. Yes, in the women's Olympics. That's hilarious. I yeah. Mean, so honestly, um, when I you, just want to get your thoughts on that, bro. Honestly, I that part I think is a necessary evil. To whereas I think that's the kind of stuff that's going to showcase the ridiculousness in the nature in this I situation. I am complete agreement. <laughs> Hold on, I want to say this. I, and I was going to make a post about this on my social media. Uh -huh. I hope that. He Some athlete from college basketball just goes just goes to the WNBA. Joanna man and get straight Joanna <laughs> man the whole <laughs> league and just dominates and averages eighty points a game. Yeah, I want it to happen so freaking bad. So the women can complain because <laughs> because women are supporting this. Nonsense. Not more than anyone. <laughs> yeah, it's not. They're supporting it more than anyone. So I'm just waiting for the uh, like a a good college basketball athlete to just go trans and just completely dominate the WNBA. Yeah. So I'm so glad you yeah. said that because <laughs> for sure. because like, I mean if you think about women's sports, I mean you know look that, at, yeah look at look at the um like to a to a to a, a little mm. more darker. Subject: yeah. uh, This this MMA fighter Fallon, what's her name? Fallon Fox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Broke a skull of a female. Like you're a guy. Yeah. You're gonna beat the dog piss out of a woman. Like that's not even fair. Like granted, some women can beat up guys, but it's just genetically structured that men are typically stronger than women. Like that's not a fair fight. Am, am like I... why are you even allowed? Like there's like weight classes in MMA, mm -hmm. so it should be like gender classes as well. You shouldn't be allowed to fight a woman. That's crazy. And, and my thing is yeah. where where where's the line? Where are we going to draw the line, right? Because that should have been the line. She, she <laughs> could have died. That lady could have died. She fractured her skull. That, like, that's crazy. Uh, right, right, right. So you can yeah. you can't have men over here fighting women in MMA like that's completely and totally unfair, and that's what the uh, the the team uh, runners were were arguing is that it's completely unfair and uh, uh, pretty much turning women into spectators in their own sport. Yes. you know what I mean. Now they just got to sit back and watch as uh, biological men take over their sport because they're saying that they are but that's the point that's the point that's that's what it's gonna have to take it's gonna have to be so overt and so obnoxious and so obvious kind of like how they are to us but on the other end where they're just gonna see that there's a complete dominance between um it's not a mental thing and it's not saying that women are less than men in any way shape form or fashion but there are physical attributes that are given to men and women that makes us different. Whereas in sports, it's going to showcase themselves. Like right. a man is naturally a man, uh, a peak, the peak male in the world is going to be stronger than the peak woman in the world. It's, Granted that peak woman may be over and over and over again in every aspect. <laughs> right. Granted, granted there are some WNBA players that could go out here and go to the Y and drag all those oh, drag trash me. little yeah, white yeah. dudes or yeah. black guys drag that are me. terrible yeah, no, yeah, in the sure. YMCA. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or even on some level of college, but like, if you take LeBron and put him in the WNBA, he's gonna average ninety. 
yeah, a I night mean, easy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you take the the, the best WNBA player and Man, she try to put them in the bench. NBA. Like, it come would, on, she wouldn't it. even make the bench. They were talking about you know what I'm saying? in the G League or something. And this is no disrespect, but this is just right. obvious and blatant. This is so blatant that it's like, come on, man. I mean, like, you can, we you can look at the stats uh, across the world, around the world, about the average height um, and size of, of men compared to women. And it's, you know what I mean? It's The, the differences are, are clear. What are we clear. talking about? So I'm a little cynical. I'm leaning to the mic on this one. I'm a little cynical. <laughs> I hope trans women. Take over the WNBA. Please go to the WNBA. Women's tennis, sorry, Serena. Please. Um, women's golf. All, all that. of that. All, all that. that. All women's that. boxing. Uh, women women's boxing. swimming. Y'all go out there and take just take over. over. All of that. Yeah. All of that. And then y'all gonna see that there's not there's not an equal. There's no equal there. And I'm gonna They're be, different. And I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna kind of laugh. <laughs> not, not because kind of laugh. I'm gonna openly laugh. <laughs> We're gonna do a because... podcast called us laughing, <laughs> and it's, we told y'all about on our first episode. Because we told y'all, only because we warned <laughs> like, y'all. We don't want this to happen, <laughs> but like because we warned y'all, and y'all the main ones promoting this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all women gotta get it. I don't y'all even understand. Like I don't understand how women are championing this, and it's taken away from them. Like it's taken away from them. Like it's kind of like how they did with um. With the uh, back, this is a sidebar topic, but like kind of back when they did with the um, with the civil rights movement, where mm-hmm. when we had the families coming together, the black families coming together, the agenda was to come in and promote women's rights. So that promoted women leaving their husbands and the um, and, and splitting off and being like, all right, yeah, well, we need rights. Where it's like, bro, like you talking about women's rights, whereas it's like, whereas like us as black people in general don't have rights. Like you talking about. You're fighting for rights for a white woman, right, right, or a person that's not even you, right, right, right. And they're just taking away. They're taking away from us, right. from us coming together, right. which was when we were at one of our strongest points right. towards as far as a family structure. Right. Whereas now it's like, okay, you have the whole term of alpha female, and you have split households. Right. Um, and the enemy doesn't want a family structure. You know what I'm saying? So, no. I'm not taking away from women stepping up to the plate and doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But understand that everything is a tactic. You know what I mean? So ultimately, you guys are championing this trans agenda and this homosexual agenda. And they are walking right into your arenas and taking over. So it's just like, then what? You know what I mean? The WNBA is already complaining about their paychecks. What you going to do? What you going to do if it's a... uh, if D-Wade's son. We we started talking about D-Wade's son. What if he want to be a basketball player but as a woman? So as his whole life, he just grows up and he has D Wade's genes. <laughs> then he goes to the WNBA as a D Wade female. Ooh. What's gonna happen to y'all? It's, <laughs> it's over. D-Wade come on, like he about to average fifty. Like, come on, yo. Oh, y'all man. tripping? Yeah, y'all tripping. Now, and y'all, and now, y'all asking for you what you don't want, man. Right. <laughs> for so real. and I'm I'm reading this article uh, and it was talking about the International Olympic Committee uh, requires transgender. Athletes in women's sports to keep their testosterone levels below a certain threshold, but scientific research suggests that just suppressing testosterone alone mm-hmm. is not enough to make a man less dominant. You know, yeah, for uh, sure. You know, than um, female athletes. So just because they're taking estrogen doesn't all of a sudden makes them boom bring them down to a female level. Yeah. So you're just gonna be femininely strong. You're just gonna do it in a more flagrant way. Like you're just, you're, you know <laughs> you're, just, you're just gonna right. run extra fast, but it's gonna look real flimsy. I mean, it's still you know, <laughs> yeah. Like what the I, fuck? Have, I yeah. have, I have seen the scrawniest men overpower women. Fast. Like you know what I mean? Like they've never worked out a day in their life, <laughs> and like just like overpower women. Like it's just like nothing. Like. It's you know what I mean. The the physical uh, advantages are just clear and blatant, and so hold on, quick question. Okay. How on one token is domestic violence such an issue? Oh boy. But in the same token, you're saying that a man can be a woman. Like if a man, if a if you see such an issue with a man hitting a woman, how is it then okay for a man to go and fight in MMA? As a transgender woman, what is the that's domestic violence? That's sanctioned domestic violence. Listen, like I don't understand that. All right, so I'm glad you brought that up because I just seen someone posting 
a video about a girl taking out a dude fighting, right? Mm -hmm. And the girl, it was a girl who posted this, laughing. <laughs> Look at this guy getting beat up by a woman. Right. But if the shoe was on the other foot, come on now, they'd be you like, know oh man, this dude was a punk. You know what I'm saying? Corny. And the dude, you could tell like the dude who's getting beat up, he wasn't even trying. Like yeah. he wasn't, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't even, he wasn't trying to like hurt her. You know what I mean? Um, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But like the dude, you know, got got thrown to the ground, and you know what I mean. Like he didn't even try to swing back. You know right. what I mean? But the girl, like who posted the video, thought it was so fucking hilarious. Yeah. And will be the same type of girl who's over here, like. Ah, oh, this is a weak man. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Right. Right. Granted, right. domestic violence goes both ways. You it know goes, what I mean? It, so, it like, goes, if you're beating on your man, yeah, then that is a problem, ladies. But typically, that's not what we mean when we say right. domestic violence. So, to your point, I just wanted to right. make that distinction. Yeah, and um, quick quick side note. I don't know if you heard about the uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Amber Heard situation. No, what happened? All right, so, um, and in case you, you guys haven't heard. So, uh, basically, um, Amber Heard, uh, so at first she was screaming that uh, Johnny Depp was uh, assaulting her. And then come to find out, he released a tape uh, of them having a conversation. And he was basically saying that, hey, listen, you know, if we get into arguments, I'm just going to walk away because I, I don't want things to get physical. And then you can hear her clearly saying, no, you can't just walk away. You can't just walk away. But if you stay, I can't promise I won't get physical. So women. So she was the aggressor. Yes, so women were tearing Johnny Depp down because it was reported that Johnny Depp was basically beating Amber Heard. Okay. But then it turns out that she is the aggressor yeah. in this situation. And then you can even hear her talking about how, uh, you know, she was saying, oh, I didn't punch you, I just hit you. Like, wait, what? What you mean? Like, yeah, what yeah, you saying? Like, 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 what? Yeah, and she goes, she goes on to saying, like, um, I don't know what, uh, what, what, what shape my hand made when it hit you, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> he, he was saying like, oh, you punched me. And he was like, no, it was, it was open. I, well, I don't remember, you know what I mean? I'm like, come on now. Yeah. You hit the man. That's like, like, that's, you, you want to play semantics, you, you hit the man. So yeah. like, you know what I mean? It goes to what you're saying. It goes both ways. Like ladies, like if you try to like hit on a man, like, come on now, like, it goes both ways. If you don't want a man to hit you, don't 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 hit no man. Big facts. Big, and and you gotta understand that it's different. Super. So the question I want to ask you, um, and uh, this is what you know everyone's counter argument is that men and women are equal, right? So I just want to ask you, well, what is equal if we have I don't think all they... these different, you know, uh, WNBA, NBA. We got women's soccer, women's this. What is equal to you? What does that even mean? For one, I don't think they want equality. I think they want special. Okay. Because it's different. You want right. you want you want exceptional. You right. want to the exception. You want right. to the rule. You don't want equal. Like equal would mean that that video that you saw, yeah. where you wouldn't feel a way like, dang, she's beating up the dude. Yeah. Or vice versa. Right. If it was a dude beating up a woman, it right. wouldn't be no issue neither. Right, 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 it would just right. be like a regular little yeah, disgraceful women... ass black world star video of people beating up each other. Right, right, right. Just want to throw that out there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't understand how that site is still up, just showing black people beating up niggas. Oh, yeah, nah. Nonetheless. We, we definitely yeah. do not uh, <laughs> endorse uh, world star hip hop on this show. Nah. Yeah, just right. condoning all kind of violence and ignorance. It's right. ridiculous. Nah, we, we don't do that, yeah. But uh, nonetheless, it's just like that's not equal. You know what I mean? What is equal? Like what you're saying, like what is equal? Yeah. If right. you're telling me that it's okay for us to get paid the same, I understand that. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's makes, cool. That I understand. Like, if you're telling me that you want to be um your voice to be heard, you want your side of the you want you, you want to have um um an equal playing field as far as the decision making towards your family, that again goes into your belief system i mean because again everything that i do like i said earlier is a point of reference from a from a christian standpoint like that's what i that's that's my viewpoint so according to that you know it's god the husband the right. wife the kids right. you know what i mean there's an order to this so it's just like whatever you believe that's your structure again i don't care about what you do in your household so that's not what's equal to the world so to the world if we're talking about equality from a standpoint of pay fine 
so be it. But if you're telling me that an employer is paying you differently from what another employee is making, one, how do you know that? Because wages aren't to be disclosed. And if you do find that out and you have vivid proof of that, then it's illegal, like literally illegal. So what are we talking about? It shouldn't be no hashtag. It shouldn't be nothing. You should be able to go to HR and say, hey, this is what's happening. I Somehow I came across this other person's check stub and we do the same job and they're making more than me. And just to step, uh, to step in on that, um, it's, I, think, I think what it is is that uh, women are getting a 0.8% uh, on, on men um, so they're, they're, they're close, but they're still a little off. But that's based on statistics so to where it's like, okay, when they take these statistics, that's talking about women. They're including women that, um, a take off for work for, um, paternity leave. Yeah, they're taking, right. they're talking about women that, um, make different career decisions, um, that ultimately lead to less paying jobs. It's not Ooh. necessarily talking about jobs that yeah. actually mm-hmm. are the exact same job. They're talking about all women in the workforce and all men in the workforce. So when they come out with these statistics, mm-hmm. they're not specifically saying that this woman as a manager at Chick-fil-A is making less than this manager that's a man at Chick-fil-A. They're talking about all the women in the workforce. You know what I mean? Typically. All right. And let me, let me just interject real quick, you know, uh, because I also wanted to, to touch on that where we talk about equality uh, amongst uh, the, the sexes. There are jobs that men can 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 do well women can do too but they don't typically do women don't choose to do certain jobs right i mean and right so person. so right like it's so, not many male nurses or social workers yeah, so right and then and then how many how many males do you see working at a daycare facts um and but then it's like are we pushing towards women to be plumbers right or electricians. Or electricians. Or like, roofers you know I mean? or some like, shit. Like, right, right. right. Car- you know, carpenters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, construction workers. Right. Like, like, why are we, you know what I mean? If y'all want inclusion so bad, why are we not pushing for women in, in those in, uh, those ca- careers? You know what I mean? So, you know, the, the whole thing about, like, what what is equal? You know what I mean? Like, I, and I, to go back to race, because everything on this channel is going to come from a black perspective. I'm going to lean in on this one. We don't need integration to have the same equal opportunities for both males and females. And what I mean by that is everything that men do, women don't have to do. Uh, and, And going back to the whole... Um, tr- trans people uh, playing in uh, uh, female sports. It, we, for instance, we don't need WNBA players playing in the NBA for for it to be equal. And and just like we don't need uh, males playing in in the WNBA, as long as both groups are afforded the same opportunities. To me, that that that's fair. I and uh, you know the reason I wanted to tie it to race is because you know they think integration is gonna help uh, solve racism. No, people are cliquish by nature. Asians stick with Asians, black people stick with black people, white people stick with white people, women stick with women, men stick with men. It's the way we work, and so we don't have to integrate everything uh, to make. To, or to make everything equal. That's that's not what it's about. It's all about having the same opportunities, and and that uh, that is why the WNBA is great. Women's tennis is great. Women's soccer is great because we created an avenue that women can be afforded the same opportunities. Because if there was no women's soccer, women's tennis, they would not have a chance in male sports. I mean, uh, to speak to that point about. Um, equality among sports. I know I heard a lot about the WNBA. You know, they were complaining about the pay there, whereas, you know, if you look at just the numbers that they were bringing in, you know, and um, how women are... Well, the people don't watch, you know. <laughs> it's like, you know, women are championing right. this, like, you know, right. this equal pay thing, where it's just like, well, go support your league, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. Go support the tickets. You know what I mean? I can go on, I can go on uh, you know, StubHub or 
any ticket site, Ticketmaster right now, you know what I mean? Like the disparity in the ticket prices for floor seats at a women's game versus a men's game in the exact same arena a lot of the times well, and are I, distinctively different. Right. You know and, I, I mean? and, I, and I think that's where, where women need to be honest with themselves because I think most oh, women... This is so patronizing. <laughs> We're so patronizing the women by saying that you deserve something that isn't American. If we're gonna talk about America and equality, your worth determines your 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 your, your commodity determines your worth. Mm. How valuable is your commodity? Women's sports isn't as valuable as men's basketball, or women women's sports in general isn't as valuable as men's basketball. Why is that? It's not to say that we're not equal as people. It's just the fact that my eyes isn't gonna turn to the WNBA championship, and it's in the summer. Where it's nothing else on. There's no competition to the women's championship. I don't even know what's going on. So it's like it's put on in that time of year so there's less competitors, less competition for it to compete. There's nothing else going on in the summer, ladies. Yeah, And, and that's cool, but all I'm saying is, mm-hmm. from that perspective, right. mm-hmm. if you want to talk about equal pay, you have to have a, comp- a commodity of equal value right. for me to pay you for that. Like, How am I going to pay you? Right. How are you going to get paid millions of dollars like LeBron? When, you know, the ticket gate isn't filling up for, you know, Candace Parker. Right. She's amazing. Skylar Diggins, amazing. Mm-hmm. Sue Bird was my favorite WNBA player, actually. Right. But ultimately, it's like, bro, it's so patron. I just feel like it's very patronizing for people to make it seem like women should be paid equally, especially from a sports standpoint. Right. And we've already debunked. The, the the pay gap in in um actual normal normal working circumstances like that's not even a that's a myth that's right. that's blatantly a myth and it's right. used by political forces whenever they have to get out and speak to try to get the women's vote that's all that is it's a myth when you go and do your research you can see that it's based upon um fudge numbers like to where it's just like you know you're gonna say that a woman is making seventy cents seventy seven cents on a dollar to the man versus the dollar right that's not taking into account that a lot of women may not even be working full time. A lot of women may be taking time off. Um, they actually uh, literally may just be doing different jobs, but because of the way that the statistic is gathered, it's lumping all the numbers together. And again, like I said earlier, you know, it's just lumping in all the women on the workforce and all, and all the men on the workforce. Like, and that's just a, it's a very misleading statistic. Right. And 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 uh, to add on to that, I mean, we can get on if you think it's a lack of opportunity. Just look at the high school stats of females playing sports. I mean, they're playing in sports almost as much as guys are. The the, the numbers are really close and in, in, in figures so they're having opportunities in high school and we have these sports just for women so they have the same opportunity in sports if, if it if it doesn't i mean and some of the some of those female athletes get paid a lot serena williams mm-hmm. um and and so forth um i know it's not all of them but it's the, the ones re- that draw the attention the ones that draw the attention the reason serena williams gets a lot of money is because she's good at what she does and people want to watch her play if you know, and and women and and uh, like I was gonna say, women need to admit that a lot of women prefer watching guys play. And, yeah, uh, it's patronizing. You guys know it. You right. know that that's not a true thing when you say right. that a WNBA player should be paid equally to an NBA player. That's re- blatantly ridiculous. Like the the NBA, the WNBA has been been completely supported by the funding of the NBA. It's 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 basically it's almost been in the red. Like it's 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 haven't even been a it hasn't even really been a profitable league. It's been kept around because of the cultural impact that it has on young women, which is amazing. But if we're looking at the financial stability of the league, like if it was another team, like whereas an NBA, if it has a team that is in a faulty market and it has like a terrible market where it's not selling tickets, the team gets moved. Like look at Seattle. Seattle still wants a team right now. Their team is in Oklahoma City. They still want a team back. But their team, the people in that city wasn't supporting the team. So you know what happened? That men's team was taken to another state where it could succeed and flourish. But ultimately, it's not saying that. It's not a distinguishing. The money isn't distinguished to men or female. 
it's the it's determined by supply and demand. Like this is a common thing. We all know that, you know. Yeah, and and I would guarantee you this that if the WNBA had a basketball player uh, like a female version of LeBron James, people would tune in and then they would start to make some money. But they don't have a player who is jumping out the building, dunking on folk. You know what I mean? <laughs> so Facts. they're not going to bring in the same numbers. They're not going to bring in unless the same we crowd. go back to the transgender thing. And hey, guys, go take this. <laughs> go take this opportunity right now. Go be the LeBron James of the WNBA. You know what Listen. I mean? And then maybe they can help them out. And this will make our whole point that we've been trying to talk Listen. about this whole time. It's different. It's a if difference. If you're a later. guy who plays sports <laughs> and you want to take the easy route. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to transgender <coughs> out and you can dominate. Do that and you can dominate. Please. Go make millions, man. Please. You'll be champion. What would they give uh what they give Caitlyn Jenner? You'll get a courage award Courage for going award. to the for going to the WNBA and being the MVP. Woman of the year. Come on. Think about it. Make fellas. that money. Think about it, fellas. What are you doing? Do that. You Do wasting that. time. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> We've been wilding on this podcast today. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have today. We can go on and on about this. Um, uh, I would love to revisit this. Um, uh, leave your thoughts um, in the comment section. I'm sure we've angered plenty of folks. <laughs> leave your opinions down below and uh, tell us if you agree, Still use disagree. Your straight comes, ladies. This is agree to disagree, so we take all opinions. Um, again, this is your boy Primetime Naeem Lane. Thanks for watching. Love you.